back guys hopefully everything's going nice and smooth um i've gotten a few upgrades on my shit we got a nice laser rifle with some fucking sights some hard sights do i still have it on easy for me i'll miss my Let's check the settings. Yeah, I was just messing around. It shouldn't be on very easy. I don't like very easy. Look at the gun. Fuck, the sensitivity is so low. We have to get to good neighbours to talk to Dr. Amani. Oh shit! Fucking hell, it's dangerous over here, bro. Actually, before I do that, I'd like to set my weapons up properly. Um, I'm gonna set that to four. I'm gonna set that one to three. I'm gonna check, set that one to one. I might check that to two. And then that one to one. This one. Oh, I'll check the rifle to three. And then the pistol to four. And hopefully I'll be able to remember that. Assault rifle. But I don't have much ammo for that, so I'm not going to really use it. Oh, I've got a bit of ammo for that. It's a good one. I like that gun. Fucking MP5. That's right. <laughs> Low battery. Alright, here we are. What's this come on? Hey, hold, hold up, up there. there. First, First time in good neighbor? neighbor? You can't go walking around with Like I'm insurance. gonna let some fucking leather armor wearing little bitch. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from you. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on. <laughs> no. No, I do not pay any insurance. Papa liked that. I thought you would have hated it. <laughs> I like you already. Walk into a new place, make a show of dominance. Nice. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? That yeah, I feel welcome. you. Yeah, I feel yeah, you. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Sweet ass. Oh, uh, let's get some more ammo and shit. Well, oh, we're getting into the memory den now. Hello, motherfuckers. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about Lomi. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. Big flirt. Ah, right, let's go the the memory den, eh? Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Um. Yeah, that is a good one. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Um. 
Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Oh, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. What? I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? A lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we use two? We load both okay, you and Mr. Your Valentine turn. into you the memory in. lounges. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. I'm ready for this. I'm not doc. ready for this, Doc. Okay, but I need to keep oh. this. I mean, you Amari. Know. We can't get to the memories in that implant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're we're it. Hmm? We look. Really? He'll act as a host. Alright, let's get started. Alright. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. See let's you on the other side. See you on the other side, brother. Come on. Oh, is it this chair? Okay. <sighs> it's just a screen in my face. <laughs> it's dead ass just the screen. How is this advanced transplant in the host? Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We are going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. Why is Parker just standing there, blocking at me? Did the radiation rot everyone's brain into thinking it was okay to stand there and stare at people for like an hour? Can you hear me? This Piper wants some oh, pretty good. Good. The simulation appears to be working. Although the memories are quite fragmentary. Right. Oh, I'll try to step trippy. you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the institute's ah, location. There's nothing here, Doc. Oh, there we are. There. This is the earliest intact memory Sweet. I can find. Oh, that's weird. We're walking on neurons. Here we are. Yeah, fuck up, cunt. Come out here. Remember, 
You are Dad was either drunk or not around. This may prove I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. Oh, you got all the rig. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. What about you? I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR <laughs> and all that. Oh, rules. he knows who the NCR is, and I show up really, wearing NCR clothes. I was running from the guilt of not like, protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. That's all that's here. I'm gonna make sure I do all this for you guys. You guys can skip ahead if you don't really care. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The Maybe. thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really. Why does your it. baby look identical to mine? Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. Oh, it's only cool looking place. back it's by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Now she died. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. Oh, Mary. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter. No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Oh, no. Come on. I thought San Francisco was my chance San to start Francisco, fresh. Eh? That was the hot shit. The gunslinger from the hub. Rolling into town with the world at my feet. You look goofy, bro. Everybody knew I was the one who shot Valdez. I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. Bro, I'm surprised I didn't shoot you from Fallout 3 or some shit before you even fucking got a chance to shoot anybody. Got steady work with oh, right up, bang. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own... <laughs> As soon as I make the connections I need, then I can give you anything you want. A little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. They sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. <laughs> I promise. I know. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Here. Are we gonna go say hi? Oh, yeah. Before he starts moving, get the memory of him. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? 
<laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I so he killed the people who killed his um, daughter and wife, I guess? So he decides to kill my wife and steal my kid. Well, fuck, bro. Yeah, that's this is what happened to you. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. Oh, well, who's this guy? There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. What about you? What have you got to say about yourself now? I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. So you, want, you have to kill another, f a whole fucking family cunt. You fucking dicky. Let up, put a bullet in your brain. Kellogg catches a bullet. <laughs> Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. Oh. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Suited me just fine. So, you're with the Institute. First synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work. Why don't they the make Institute. more types? Like there was obviously Nick was a prototype, but why don't they make like a bunch I wanted of, to see for like, myself a whole, a whole really one? Existed. Cool. We do, as you can see. Hold on, see what he says about himself. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. <laughs> Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. 
getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Yeah, something about the Institute We're already. Out of green here. Uh, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Oh shit. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Bob. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. <laughs> what about me? Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood Look that. Look how kind fucking of ripped I am. You should have been like, no, 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 let's not re refreeze this kind of. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft. Pre -war Soft pre -war look dweller, how jacked I am. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them too. If he could take I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh Fuck, he's a kid I killer. like to. And yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. All right, what was that? Computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully, it's all just. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, I've already noticed how this goes. This was the beginning of the game. Oh, here's the good one. Is that your son? Wasn't my idea to it settle down to with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. Good news, I think. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently but there's no going back I knew it was just temporary it'd be back to normal business before too long 